Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Thanks for tuning in on my channel. Today we're going to talk about head and neck to the channel. We're going to try to think outside the box for difficult cases. Can you see the difference between these two images? It's very difficult, right? Believe me, the setups for these two images are totally different. Stick around and I will show you. All right, for those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, troubleshooting, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. I've been doing this for a few years because sometimes we have difficult cases, patients who cannot lie down on a scanner, lie down, you know, on the coil, the head coil doesn't fit on the head coil. But the new coil today, is that uh, you have the possibilities to tilt the coil, which is very good for kyphosis cases. But nevertheless, you have also claustrophobic patients. So we're gonna do three different scans today, three different approaches, three different images. So we're gonna compare and you're gonna see what I did on these uh, images, okay? Stick around, let's go to the scan and I will show you. All right, we are currently at three Tesla, but this doesn't matter, this will work on 1.5 3T. So Please check out this. We're gonna do three different scans. The first one is just this is a T2, so we can compare, right? This T2 is used with the full uh, head coil neck, the full, the front, the, the posterior and anterior part. And we're gonna to try to scan that one. And the next thing we're gonna do is to, to scan only with the posterior part and do not have on the front. So we will remove that and we're gonna see the signal intensity and see how it works. And the last one we're gonna do is to have the four channel flex, the small one, just in up front of the, the head. I am gonna show you uh, how I'm setting this up and we're gonna check out the images as well. So let's scan these three and we're gonna go and check out the images. Uh, before so, remember to put on the, the element for the flex. And one more thing, also check that the pre-scan normalizer is on, or without that, you will get very bad images. All right, let's check the results. So there are three different images right here. Some of them are easy to spot. So I'm not gonna tell you what is what, but you can see in the middle one here, I sure have to tell you, or you will already know that. You can see that there's noise in front of here. That means that you don't have the posterior, the anterior part of the coil, right? But look at the first one and third one. It's difficult to spot, difficult to see the differences. But let's stop there. You can see you have signal intensity right here and there's signal loss there, there. So that means that this one is with the small flex in front and this one is the full head neck 20. But let's go right back here. It's very difficult to tell the differences between those two images, right? It seems to be good, good enough with the flex on the front for cases like claustrophobic patients who don't want to have the anterior part in front of them. So it might be a solution, but let me show you how I did position that coil. This is how I positioned the coil. And this is a color of mine, of course. And we have the four channel small flex right in front of there. So you see the anterior part of the face is very open. So it's maybe it's less claustrophobic. And some of the patients which cannot lie all the way down because Acrophosis or cases like that, you cannot put on the front coil. So this can't be a solution. I'm just wrapping around the four channel coil right there. I'm strapping it on both sides. And remember to, to uh, watch out for the, the, the cable, of course, so it won't get stuck. So this is how we did it. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I do have a question for you before we close up. Have you done this approach before or differently? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Also remember to check out my Patreon account and I will also say thanks for the ongoing support. And do not forget to push the like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so we get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I will catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.